Once I've created a publication in Publisher 2007, I have more choices than ever for distributing it. I can send it in email as an attachment or displayed in the body of the message. I can publish it to the web and I can package all of its files for a commercial printer. I can even distribute the publication in portable document format, which you might know as PDF, for those recipients who don't have publisher. And I can use the original publication to quickly prepare and distribute a different publication that uses some of the same content, such as this newsletter I'm sending out to my extended family. Let's take a closer look at some of these choices. If I'm using Outlook 2007 or Outlook Express 6.0 as my email program, I can send a publication in email a couple of ways. To send as an attachment, I start with my publication open in Publisher. And then I go to the File menu and point to Send Email. If the recipient has Publisher, I can send the original Publisher file by clicking Send Publication as Attachment. If the recipient doesn't have Publisher, I can send a PDF version of the publication by clicking Send Publication as PDF Attachment. Notice that on the File menu, I also have the option to save a PDF version of the publication by clicking Publish as PDF or XPS. But I won't do that now. I'll go ahead and click Send Publication as PDF Attachment. And there's the attachment icon in the email message. But let's say instead of attaching my publication to a message, I want the content in it to display in the body of the email message. Here's how I do it. With the publication open in Publisher, I go to the File menu, point to Send Email, and click Send as Message. I want to use content from the entire newsletter, so I click Send All Pages, then I click OK. I've already saved this publication, so I click No, do not save my current publication before formatting for email, and then I click OK. Publisher automatically places the newsletter content from my original publisher file into the email message and formats it to fit the message body. Under Extra Content, I see that a few items did not get included in the reformatted publication. I click the down arrow for an item such as the Contoso logo, and click Insert to place it back in the publication. I delete the organization placeholder and replace it with a Contoso logo. I click Design Checker to find out what additional adjustments I need to make to ensure that the email publication will look as I intended. To fix an item, I point to it, click the down arrow, and then click an option from the list. The number of adjustments I may need to make depends on the complexity of my original publisher layout, to see how the publication will look to the recipients, I click Email Preview. It looks great. And I'll reuse a lot of this content in the newsletter I send out in email to my extended family. They think I spent hours typing it just for them. For those who prefer getting information by browsing the web, here's another way I can make my publication available to customers. I can publish the same newsletter content to my website and update it as often as I want to. To do this, I start with my publication open in Publisher, and then on the File menu, click Convert to Web Publication. I've already saved my publication, so I click No, do not save my print publication before converting it to a web publication, and then I click Next. Because my newsletter is several pages long, I make sure Yes, Add a Navigation Bar is selected, and then I click Finish. After my newsletter has been converted, I can make whatever adjustments are needed before I publish it, such as moving the navigation bar to where I want it to appear on the page, and adding page titles to it. Then, on the Web Tools toolbar, I can click Web Page Preview, to see what my publication will look like before publishing to the web. When I'm ready to publish the file, I click Publish to Web to create the page. Electronic versions of my publication are great, but I also want professionally printed copies that I can hand out to customers in my store. I find the easiest way to distribute a publication to a commercial printer is by packaging all the files onto media, such as a CD, by going to the File menu and clicking Pack and Go. 
once I click Take to Commercial Printing Service, the design checker for Commercial Press appears in the task pane. For any item that appears in the list of items to fix, I can click the down arrow and pick an option from the shortcut menu. At the bottom of the task pane, I have the option of including a PDF version of the publication and a copy of the original publisher file in the package. My commercial printing service has asked me to deliver both, so I'll leave both of these options selected. I click Save to start the Pack and Go wizard and select the location where publisher packages the files I'll need to take to a commercial printer. The package includes a copy of the original file, the press-ready PDF file, and the linked files my publication uses. It's great that Publisher 2007 gives me new, powerful ways to distribute my publications, including as an email and as a PDF file. I can choose the distribution method that's right for the publication and the people receiving it. 